In this video, what we hit hard was uh, the ceiling. We got the ceiling fans installed. Um, we'll go a little bit more in depth about that. The insulation and uh, the final material we were using. And um, after that, well, before that, I believe, we got the radio installed here. So we have a fully functioning 12 volt radio for uh, on the road and we started installing the solar panel brackets and we figured out what we were gonna do for this wall to kind of even it all out and try and quiet it down the best we could. Uh, I believe in the next video, we're gonna be hitting the floor pretty hard, floor insulation. Um, we're gonna skip the solar panels for now, but we wanna get everything so we can start putting stuff in here, start assembling cabinets start figuring out where stuff's gonna go um but thank you guys for watching the first video hope you guys enjoy the second video there's much more to come um and much more progress to be made so thanks for watching feel free to comment like subscribe ask us questions tell us how we're doing tell us how we're doing anything you guys want it's much appreciated uh the door panel right here that goes to this door we're just marking out the inside to lay this sound deadener slash insulation on. We're using some high strength contact adhesive and uh, we're just marking out where we're gonna kind of like be spraying in between. And we're gonna cut the, uh, the excess off. where it looks stuck down pretty minimal on the uh, size and nothing can hurt reduce the, uh, the sound vibration so we just gotta make sure this is thin enough to clear the door pocket so we're gonna mount that up and see how it goes So what we're doing right now is we're trying to free up this some space up in the top of the cabin here. And um, this bracket for all the electrical connections is uh, kind of in the way. So we're actually going to try and cut that in half and uh, remount that back up there. This uh, frame pretty much in half. We were able to bolt it. I maintained the, uh, the mounting hardware holes. And uh, what we're going to do is we want a constant power going up to one of these so we can add uh, battery power from the truck to maintain the, the cameras, so the security system, and as of right now, the radio. So we're gonna mount the radio somewhere up here. We're gonna have a constant hot so it doesn't forget the programmable stations. We're gonna be getting that constant hot off of the off side of the power switch. So we're gonna gain access through the back of the gauge cluster. We're going to go ahead and install some nice blue LEDs back there. How much did you get these for? A couple bucks on eBay. Cool, cool. Pop the old bulb out. New one in. Straight on there. Get to test out the uh, LEDs. <laughs> Looks pretty good. So installing these um, speakers after we got the radio somewhat mounted how we'd like it. This is uh, what we've done so far in terms of brackets. Um, we will be using this six inch hole saw and drilling through right this uh, X mark just like over here. semi-abrasive metal bit to finish carving out the edge. So uh, we did 
did get the radio mounted on this uh, nice aluminum bracket here. I soldered my connections. They were labeled really nice up here. It, you know, tells you which two wires, black with the, I mean, uh, gray with the black stripe and just solid gray. Solid gray is the positive. So I uh, obviously I'm gonna tuck that up, but we gotta go on right to the speaker right here. And uh, cleaned out the hole and I'm getting ready to mount the second speaker here and uh, if you can see just in here there's the positive on this side and then the negative on that side so we just gotta make sure we're wiring them up right and we can see if we can uh, apply some power and see if we can get it, get it to uh, make some noise right now I'm gonna pre-drill the holes so I kind of gotta line this up to see where uh, see where we're going to be drilling these holes at to run the screws in. After we made the, uh, the cutout for the radio, we installed a switch so it's on a constant hot. We're going to wire a little the rest of this and tuck all these wires away. We just want to make sure they work. But it's on a constant hot so that even when the truck is off and the power is off, you can turn the radio on. And it'll come on. It's Bluetooth. USB to charge your phone, all the goodies. Now, since this door pocket sticks out significantly on the uh, on the wall here, it's right about three quarters of an inch, and we found these furring strips that just happen to fit perfectly. So we're gonna be taking these furring strips and mounting them up on this wall so we can get a piece of plywood across here, and this is gonna be the uh, the ideal spot for the bed. And then we're gonna put a piece of plywood over this. Got the furring strips off to uh, put the plywood on the wall to make it level with this door the door pocket cover and we had the extra insulation so we're gonna throw a little bit more insulation up in there before we put the plywood because this is where the bed's gonna go so right now I'm actually standing on the roof and uh, uh oh, he's drilling through. But um, yeah, this is what the roof looks like. This is all fiberglass ridge. This is the back. That's the front where we're gonna be mounting the solar panels. Back here. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, the brackets we're going to be using for the solar panel. some 3M tape on the bottom of that. Just drilling my hole right now. We need some new drill bits, Dad. You got any better drill bits? I finally made it through that 
I said, I just made a mark and uh, that's where we're going to drill in our second hole. So I just uh, siliconed around the bolt holes and around the bracket mount itself. And uh, I was just getting a measurement for center of this, which is right about 70 and a half inches. This is where we're going to be mounting our tube for the solar panels. This is the rear two mounts, and we're going to be mounting the front two mounts up. So today we made quite a bit of progress with uh, last update was with the radio. Radio is still all good. We've been jamming out. Um, we got the insulation in more panels now. We are using these furthing, I don't know what you call it, furthing strips to build up the right distance. And we use, re reuse some of the insulation to um benefit us as well as running some romex through this uh conduit we're re also reusing this is going to be for the the wall that the bed goes up against our solar panels are stacked up right here we're making extra brackets to make them more sturdy but we have been uh insulating the uh the supports as well. done uh, stapling some of the last insulation up we're putting double-sided sticky tape on here as much insulation as we can get and uh, hopefully reduce as much sound as we can all at the same time Power grip. This is high a price bread. Just got this uh, all purpose metal glue and then obviously some wood glue up top here. And we're going to get ready to put this sheet of plywood up. So this is the vent fan, plural, two of them that we used. We, uh, we got some magnets on here. A little surprise for you later. But... We had one installed. I wanted to see how we were going to install it before I uh, did a how-to on this. But we had this bracket kind of custom made here and uh, just TIG welded right across. But um, so far we've had some pretty heavy rain. We used, you know, quite a bit of uh, everything we could to seal it up. But the fan is fully functional 
and um, in my opinion looks real good we got to put the uh, insulation back up in here everyone's saying that we're losing the uh, transparency through the roof which does suck yep having light is very nice but you got to think initially this didn't have any transparency anyway because it was insulated so we're not really we're just readjusting it a little bit we never had it to begin with and um insulation is kind of more important to me right now than letting light in because we're trying to get this uh these strips with the led right down there so we're kind of test fitting everything seeing how it looks so right towards the front here we just installed the uh pieces of angle plus the screws and then uh, we're getting ready to test fit our piece of channel in here. This is a little piece of channel. It's gonna hold our final product of the ceiling. And this is kind of trying to keep it straight all the way across. Another piece of channel. So we'll have one ideally big panel right in the center there. LED lights down the center here. Okay, um, so what are you doing? We are hanging up extruded aluminum pieces that are going to capture the ceiling panel. This is the ceiling. We glued aluminum reinforcements to help keep it from the PVC from flexing as much as possible. And uh, this side's gonna be the side we see. It's gonna, we have some supports up here temporarily until the uh, whatever we mount up at the ceiling cabinets. So the flushness won't matter. Obviously there's a little gap between here because of this, rather than cut it out, we're just gonna cover it up. Um, so in my opinion, super clean look, fully insulated. We have our 12 volt fan with pop-up vent installed. We have one located right here. We're gonna be getting ready to locate our second one right here. Siliprene, this sticks to anything to seal the roof because we're gonna cut this out, this area out to mount the uh, the other fan. Made an aluminum support bracket, this. <clears throat> and these are aluminum support brackets that we mounted in as well. To help reinforce the, uh, the roof. So this next piece of uh, ceiling is just gonna go in between here and uh, right here, and it's gonna cover this up. <laughs> 